Right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> we live. We're over here testing mics. And I've been told that my energy needs to be a little bit quiet or I will peak the mic. <laughs> so we're over here. <laughs> oh, man. This is going to be interesting because I have to be relaxed. <laughs> Anna is not hands free. <laughs> yeah. She's not hands free right now. No, no, no. We uh, we actually want to be unmuted in this one, Rainy yeah. Cajun. Thank you so much. Yes. Yes, yes. We we are testing it out. <laughs> Anna, the mic peaker. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I was just gonna laugh, oh, but I can't laugh. I can't, it can't be my Let's own. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Happy Wednesday and happy Valentine's happy Day, fam. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Today we're going to be testing mics, and I have a mic in front of me, which is just, it's just like a kryptonite kind of a thing. But at the same time, Fulgence is like, listen, if you go on with the energy that you usually bring, you're going to peek everybody's ears. And uh, so we're going to... That is too funny. Uh, and... As we're doing these demos, let us know how we currently sound with this current setup. <laughs> and as you see, we're not using the mics that we usually stream with because we always usually stream with them. So we're going to just demo mics that we don't usually use, like the ones that we have right now. So let us know how we are sounding. Yeah, but I mean, we're here to test the microphone. Yeah. So like yeah. for all, all the microphones that we're going to be testing, do let us know. Yeah. But Definitely. um yeah, so Definitely. this uh, we're we're gonna be testing mics for podcasting, for video podcasting, for live streaming production, all of that. And we're gonna be talking about which ones are best for all those specific scenarios and mm -hmm. use cases. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we have a variety. We have XLR, we have wireless, and we have USB. Yeah. Yeah. And uh Let's see what's going on in the comments before we go any further, because we got some fam tuning in. This is hands on. Hands on. Hands on. Hands on, but not hands free. Mr. Moderator. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Oh, that, I mean, on my end, that wasn't too bad. That was the normal Anna laugh. And I think it handled Well, I it moved back. Quite, I moved back a little bit. Well. But they, they're placing bets. Like, how long is it going to take me to hit the mic? Oh, shoot. It's right in here. Oh, shoot. I mean. Oh, shoot. I'm, I'm going to do my best to just be my best. Nintendo Legal. Hello. Good to see you here. Yes. <laughs> Honor the mic peaker. <laughs> James Hatcher. Hello. Good to see you hello, here. Hello, James. <laughs> Limiters are your friend. <laughs> we, we need to From here? <laughs> From the Rockcaster Pro? Um, Five minutes in. <laughs> five minutes in. And a hundred dollars on the first five minutes. Oh man, the bets, the bets are coming in. Oh, over here, just handling. I'm, I'm just, I'm just gonna read. I tell fortunes, this Louis, it just Louis four forty, right? It just, it looks really nice, and it sounds really nice with my other headphones. Like with this headphones, actually, it doesn't sound the way. Yeah, I, I first. Yeah, I, I, and then doesn't... when I use those headphones as audio monitors, yeah. there's a little bit of gain missing. Like these, these are really good because these are meant for that. Mm -hmm. And the Shure SC215s, the in-ear monitors that we usually yeah, use, yeah. you'll get that. But for those, there's a little drop in audio, definitely. Yeah, so so anyway, so I just feel like this mic should be held kind of like this, everybody. <laughs> yes, but... <laughs> right. And, I'm um, not hitting it. We are we are going to showcase a few things. Let's just show you what we have going on. We have a messy desk right here. We got all kinds of stuff. There's even some stuff on that side that we, we can't fit over here. So this is what's going on here. And yes, right now we are connected to the RCP2. Um, but before we go into... The mics, let's just go over some basics, right? Because if you're tuning in and you're, you know, welcome to Building Blocks if you, this is your first time here. And if you don't know anything about microphones, we'll just go over some quick basics, mm -hmm. right? Uh, so we'll go over the difference between dynamic and condenser. And then we'll also go into the difference, be, uh, 
between some polar patterns of the microphones. Some have um, multiple polar patterns, like um, there's a mic that we're gonna show you from iRig, from IK Multimedia that has multiple polar patterns. Um, the, the Yeti, which we don't have, the Yeti has multiple polar patterns and some just have one, right? Mm -hmm. So we'll just go over a few of those basics. And, and sort of like price points of... Oh yeah, we got price points for all. And what's great about the majority of the mics that we have here, these are good if you're just starting out. There's some some really good budget mics and some good options there. Yeah, I remember when I first started started out, um, I started out with my son's microphone, the bore in it, that was the Hypercast. And I actually enjoyed that mic a lot until I got into the Ecom Live community and then the mic people were like, Anna, you sound too far. Um, you need to come closer to the mic. And all along I was like, oh, sounding good. Yeah. But then I was able to see notice the difference um, afterwards. Mm -hmm. and, and and to tell you the truth, all of the microphones that I have tried, the one that I have liked the most has been the audio mic. The ATR 2100X. Yeah, yeah which mm -hmm. we're going to to show you. Yeah. And again, it's because of the voice, right? Yeah, the, 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 sound, of... the sound profile that you're getting with, with that. Yeah, definitely. Um, so My we're going to go over some of those things, but let's just go over dynamic versus condenser. Don't, don't, no. Hmm. <laughs> so for dynamic mics, uh, the one I'm using right now is the Elgato Wave DX. It's a, and then the, the one that we use weekly is the Shure SM7B. That's the photo that you see there. They're robust. They handle loud sounds well. You don't need any external power. They're less sensitive than a condenser mic, and they're great for studios when it comes to live streaming and podcasting. Yeah, um, so I'm, I'm just going to give you a case study, uh, an example that happened to me with a Lewitt, right? So the Lewitt durability is more sensitive, better for quiet studios, requires phantom power, Sound is high sensitive, and I have a story about that, <laughs> and ideal for high quality studio recording. And mm -hmm. this is so true. And the story that I'm going to uh, share with you all is one time I had this really um, high profile um, guest on my show, and we were talking about his book. And at the same time, my son was cooking in the kitchen. And for some reason, I could not hear this, and I could not hear it in my in my ears, I guess. But there was a lot of noise happening in the background. And afterwards, Fulgens goes, "Listen, this is not." And I'm like, "Why didn't you tell me?" I was, I'm freaking out. I heard that broadcast afterwards, and I was I just wanted to hide under the covers. And and the guest couldn't use it. Really, he he couldn't share it because it was so distracting it was a lot of pots and pans and my kitchen is not is not that close but it's not that far either it's it's um it's, it's the next room from my studio and those pots were were lit those pots were picked up the the spoon was picked up so definitely this mic will pick up everything that's around you so if you have a guess, I guess, and uh, you want to just share a mic, which Fulgens and I have done before, we have shared this mic mm -hmm. and it sounds nice. Mm -hmm. um, but if you're going to be in an, in an environment where there's a lot of noise, I would say don't use the Lewitt. Or condensers, just condensers in general. Yeah, Same that's thing true. Yeah. goes with the, the Sennheiser shotguns and other condensers. They're really, really, really sensitive. Uh, microphones and also what what's good about this demo since on and i are both here in very close proximity to each other you get to see how some of these mics uh pair up mm -hmm. side by side in terms of like bleed and whatnot i'm really surprised how we sound right now together in but terms remember of that bleeding right because check that this is this is Continue your conversation, right? Yeah. So yeah. remember that when we were using the, oh my gosh, <laughs> when we were using the Lewitt and the the SM7B together, mm -hmm. 
they couldn't hear me. They, the viewers were saying, yeah, hey, Anna, we cannot compatible. hear you. We cannot hear you. So yeah. it just, it did not work well together. Yeah. So we had to stop using, Yeah, I had to stop using it when we were together. Yeah, they were not compatible. And I'm maybe I'm thinking, because it's, I'm speaking from the top part here of, you know, of the body of the microphone. Maybe that's, that has something to do with it, but I'm really, I'm really impressed by uh, the pairing for this right now. So let's go into some really, really quick, the different um, polar patterns that you have here, starting off with, this is the famous one, cardioid uh, microphones. They capture sound mostly from the front. They're less sensitive from the sides and the rear and they're perfect for voice and instruments, reducing background noise, right? And so this cardioid, you cannot go wrong when it comes to podcasting, live streaming, et cetera. Pod cardioid is, is really good. And omnidirectional, if you wanna like capture mostly like the environment of the entire room. So this is good for like, if you have like a panel or a round table, interviews mm -hmm. and all that good stuff. So it's capturing the whole atmosphere of the space and figure eight is capturing the front and the back, not the side. So if you want to do like a face-to-face -face podcasting interview, figure eight is a good choice for that. I wonder if I have, I had, we had this one in, uh, when we were, when it was, when I, it, I was interviewing that guest. If I if it was in the 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 omnidirectional, and it was picking up everything, um, besides being no, it depends on the the pattern because like the Lewitt. So we'll go into that, right? So this is the Lewitt, which is a condenser, and we're just gonna look at go how beautiful it looks. That looks that mic bam. looks beautiful. Go straight here, a and for looks. As you can see. Right away, it tells you it's a condenser. It's a cardioid polar pattern, right? So mm -hmm. Lewitt is only one pattern, oh, gotcha. which is a cardioid polar pattern. So what Anna is using is the Lewitt uh, LCT 440 Pure, and it is 289, right? And let's go right into the next one. So the one that I have right here is the Elgato Wave DX. Priced at $79.99. Mm. And it is also an XLR microphone. And it is. They say a... not on screen. Oh, dang it. Thank you. Thank you. Wrong screen share. Images wow. not on screen. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Let's, let's run that back real quick. Let's run that back. Here it is. Boom. Sorry about that. Here it is. So this is the LCT 440 Pure by Lewitt for 289 condenser, and it's a cardioid polar pattern. Cardioid polar pattern, right? And that's the one that Anna's using. And then I have over here on my side the Wave DX. It's eighty dollars, available at Elgato uh, XLR, mm. and this is a dynamic microphone, and. You know, uh, Elgato is very, very descriptive, very detailed. And you can also go to tech specs here and then you'll get all that stuff, right? So dynamic capsule, and it's also a cardioid polar pattern, cardioid polar. So there are no other patterns. It's just straight up cardioid. Nice. All right. So let's, are we switching mics now? Um, I think we also had a question from uh, Rainy Cajun. Uh, in terms of what the gain is set to this, because right now these two mics are set to the Rodecaster Pro uh, two. And I bet Tom Tom's um, Rainy Cajun. I, I bet Tom's uh, studio is nicely pimped out with uh, soundproof. They uh, Rainy Cajun saying that Tom Bucks loves the four forty. Oh yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Um, so this the the wave uh, the wave DX is set to 60 dB for me. Um, the SM7B is usually set to around 60 uh, dB on my end. And the Lewitt for Ana, uh, Phantom Power is on because it's a condenser and it's currently set to 40 dB. We had tried 45, but when she laughed, <laughs> there was it danger. It was danger, danger. So we kept, <laughs> we kept, we kept it on, um, we kept, we kept we it, kept on, it safe. on 40.
<laughs> because we love your ears. Oh man. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So that's and my son used to be when I had the hypercast, and I I was worried about it because I, my voice is very has a very dynamic range. So my son would be like, "Mom, don't be so close to the mic. You're gonna mess up people's ears." So I got all um, self conscious about it about mics. So whenever I'm laughing and I'm moving back and moving the microphone away from me, so but. I see the benefit of having an audio interface so that you can control that. Definitely, definitely. All right. So what if you, let's part ways with your lovely Lewitt for a little bit. I'll part way with. <laughs> <laughs> and let's bring the to the stage the ATR 2100X. But before we do that, let's find the correct screen share. Oh, my gosh. Where is this darn thing? This is... <laughs> Uh, oh, it's Anna. <laughs> um, that is hilarious, Randy Kenya. Yeah, that's what happened. 2100X. What's great about this is that it's XLR and USB. And the price is now $49. It used to be a lot more than that. And it is a cardioid dynamic. And it's a hybrid. Again, USB slash XLR. And we're getting on all set up right here. And like we're going to, because it's on mute, okay. we're going to mute the Lewitt and bring that up. And we're going to mute myself so we could isolate on us audio. You should have isolated my audio with the Lewitt. Oh, you did? Okay. So actually, I noticed the difference now on my headphones on this one. And definitely the Lewitt sounds better. So, um, hold on. that was currently on 45 dB, and now we're setting it to 50 dB. Hi, everybody. How do I sound? Okay, so let me go in here. With a microphone like this, I feel like I have to take it off the... <laughs> take it off. <laughs> testing, testing. All right. Right. Okay. Okay. Hey. And it's it's good. This is great for entry level, right? Mm -hmm. And for 50 bucks, you cannot go wrong because you're also future proofing yourself, right? You have you can start off with USB C and then if you're ready to expand to get an audio interface like a Roadcaster Pro or Zoom or whatever your choice is, you can now up, uh, add it to XLR. And you could also uh or you could also monitor your audio directly from the mic. There is a Testing. headphone Testing. Um, out in there as well. What is this wheel back here for? It's a volume control. So you have an entire audio interface in this microphone if you're just using it as a standalone USB. But it doesn't mic. stay. So if I go like this, it goes back. Um, it's it's to press and hold so the volume can go up, press and hold the volume to go down when you're monitoring it from the back of the microphone uh, through USB-C. So testing, testing, and, and then it will go? Not with XLR. You oh. won't hear anything with XLR. Yeah, yeah, okay. Right? And what's cool about that is that, yeah, so I have plosives going on, and that's the thing, right? This microphone, there is no pop filter or anything like that. So for myself... You know, it's 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 a big difference. It's good for entry level, but it's a big difference from my SM7B because I can be up close on here and you're not going to get the plosives and whatnot. And there will be any mic handling noise, right? This one, you could definitely hear that. So if I'm moving that, it? I can't touch that from the SM7B. Mm -hmm. No, because no, no, everybody, no. yeah. This one from the, another, for another phone. Um, no, this one, this one will stay, but for the rest of the stuff, we're going to actually connect them to USB-C including this too. We can actually test this out to see how the USB-C sounds okay. compared to what this sounds like right now. So you're going to stay with that one for the entire time? No. Um, we're, when we get to like the USB-Cs, we're going to be sharing them, right? So we'll just we're gonna swap out. Is that a no-you mic? This is also another one here. Yeah. Just, Why uh, don't you, um, here, test your voice because my voice is different. Oh yeah. So, so let's do that. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, so we're going to mute here. And this is how I sound. And right away, I do hear the difference. It's very flat. It's a lot flatter. I'm missing some rich tones and whatnot. And it sounds kind of like the just like the audio just went completely low. 
Um, but let me see for myself. Yeah, I do have a little voice. So let me see for myself um, if we bring this for me to 60. Let's see what it will sound like. This is what it sounds like at 60. It sounds a little bit better, but definitely hear a big difference compared to not even, let's not even go to SM7B. Big difference compared to the Elgato Wave DX. I definitely prefer the profile of the Wave DX over this, right? But you cannot go wrong with this as an entry level microphone. Mm -hmm. I'm going to bring it back down to 50. What else can the broadcaster do in terms of that? For example, I mean, not that, because if somebody has the budget to buy a broadcaster, they should have the budget to buy a higher, um, a more professional microphone. Mm -hmm. But like, how? what else would you do to make this, to make, make well, it sound better? Yeah, like there are other, there's so many things you can do here. There's like processing and everything. Again, also too, right now, um, this. Some depth. Is that depth? Yeah, depth yeah. Presence? So, yeah, definitely. Press depth. Let's go back to overhead. Let's see. Do I have more depth? All right. So we have depth selected, and then once you have depth selected, you're going to actually depth. Turn this dial here. Go ahead. I have depth. I don't hear depth. It was sparkle. <laughs> try it out. <laughs> try it out and see. Sparkle. Keep, keep talking. Sparkle. Keep going. Sparkle. 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 And that's lower sparkle. Go again. Sparkle. See any difference? No. Go ahead. Sparkles. Go ahead. Sparkles. Let's try, let's, try, <laughs> let's, let's try punch. Go ahead. Punch. Punch. Let's lower the punch. Go ahead. Punch. Punch. Keep going. P U N C H. Punch. Yeah, not really much of a difference. Yeah. yeah. Um, Matt says there is a bunch of answers to Anna's question. Which question was that? Oh my oh. gosh, this is a, this is great. This like is what, this is what can you do with the with a, I believe what can you do with a? Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Okay. okay. Bunch of questions from a bunch of different people. <laughs> Yeah, but this, this really, this sounds really, I'm actually impressed with this profile here. Mm -hmm. This is really good. All right. And we're changing. We're going to now step away from the Rocaster Pro and we're going to connect this USB to USB C and we're going to monitor through this directly, both you and I. So let's do that. So I have to plug in the headphones to, to this microphone. That there. Yep. Okay. And then let's connect this there. Leave the XLR there. Uh, you could take that. Take it out. Please hold. Be able to hear you now. Go ahead. Testing, testing, test, test. You know, the you the USB C sounds a little bit better. And you have the volume that you can control now. Let's right? see for real. Let's see. It sounds better, but it's still flat. Mm -hmm. okay. Testing, testing. Okay, it's test. It's controlling the the actual volume. Test. The yeah, volume. it doesn't do anything. It just it doesn't stay. Yeah, we just control it in the ecam directly, so that sounds pretty good. Yeah. It doesn't. It doesn't do anything. I wonder what that's for. So this is this is an entry level microphone that I actually liked when I was. This was my first one after the Hypercast. No. Uh yeah, and now it's in demo mode, so you can see we just have it selected to ATR twenty one hundred X USB microphone in ecam. All right. All right. So that's that's pretty good. Actually, mm -hmm. this not even. Hold on. Let me do this. Right, so 
I think I don't know. I think it. I agree that it sounds a little bit better and like a little bit with more clarity. I think it's the processing. We definitely have to do some processing on the RCP, but just default <laughs> USB. This sounds really good. This yeah. sounds really, really good. Yeah. yeah. And and I and I think I mean because everybody keeps saying, Oh my gosh, the Rocaster Pro is 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 the cat the cat's meow. So I wonder what else it can do to make this microphone sound better. There's a lot you can do there. There's a lot, but but right out the box, if you you, you don't have to get in Rocaster Pro, if you're just getting this and you're starting out, this sounds really, mm -hmm. really clean. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, well, let's let's stay on this for a little bit because we're, we're gonna going be to... like singing together. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to uh, cover this USB microphone, which is the iRig Stream Mic Pro. iRig Stream Mic Pro, and there is so much in this mic. So before we even show it or connect it. I just want to read a little bit for you guys of everything that is uh, equipped in this microphone, right? So please bear with us for a minute or two. Here we go. And this is coming directly from IK Multimedia, oh, right? Wow. Uh, so <laughs> hold on. Do, we yeah, should so, plug it in. No. We'll get, we'll get to that. That's this is there's a reason why I just want to get get this out the way and then we plug we plug it in, right? Uh, so there's a there is a knob here that you can long press to mute and unmute. That's one, right? Remember those polar patterns we spoke about? So the iRig Stream Mic Pro, I think we're fine here. Yeah, we're good here. The iRig Stream Mic Pro, you could leave it down. Leave it down. The iRig Stream Mic Pro has uh, cardioid noise ejecting cardioid, you have uh, omni-directional, and you have figure eight in here, right? You have figure eight in here. You have a high-pass filter in here as well, and you also have independent control over microphone and audio input levels, headphone out, and you also have a auxiliary in. So you can bring, let's say, audio from your Rocasa Pro into here and monitor all that. So if I was to hit the Nintendo Legal, you could bring the Nintendo Legal from the Rocaster into here and you could hear it and all that and everybody else will hear it. So that's really cool. Uh, and you also have some uh, routing features. It has loop back built in and all that good stuff. And also IK Multimedia uh, has software so you can do processing, right? So again, you wouldn't need the likes of a Rodecaster Pro or anything like that. You can actually mon you can actually um, do all your audio processing using IK Multimedia's free software that will come with the microphone, or you could just download that, right? So with that out of the way, there's a re you know with this microphone, you see how we have this, and we'll get into the Elgato Wave Three later on. The USB connection is so easy, right? USB-C to USB-C. This, you know what I don't like about these mics is that you have the mini DIN thing mm. here, mm -hmm. right, that you have to connect. So if you lose this, you're screwed. <laughs> you better you better hit up what? IK Multimedia. How many connections for, does it? What? You better hit up IK Multimedia for a new cable. Um, no, it's just one. So it's USB-C. However, the other end is not USB-C. Oh, because I thought you said you could connect it to the RCP. Yes, you can connect it through the RCP because it has an auxiliary in and you have the headphone. Okay. Headphone out, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to disconnect this. We're going to monitor from here and we're going to connect this into here. Mm -hmm. Let's disconnect. Please hold.
All right, so it's unmuted, but we're not hearing ourselves right now. Let's be very careful with this thing. Yo, okay, I know what it is. No, cause, hold on, hold on. This thing is so sensitive, let me mute it real quick. <laughs> Can you hear it? I can hear it. You see it. how? Guess this. This is currently set to cardioid. Uh huh. Right. Um. The gain is not even like really all. The, the gain is, I would say, like fifty. It's a little bit more than halfway. Can we probably do the overhead so testing, you can see testing. probably? All right. So let me Let's see something. Let me bring it closer to me. Yeah. Go ahead. And see what happens. All right. So, this actually, this microphone actually Ooh, sounds that's a little, and from that's a little hot, hot for you. It's a little hot for you. Hold on. And it's far away from me and it's hot for me. Hold on a second here. Yeah, that's at 50%. So 50% is not on a friendly on this microphone. So let's lower that a little bit. Go ahead. Let's try that. I'm far away from the microphone. Now that sounds so low. Yeah, that is low. The, the, the handling noise is not always. There you go. Try that. Try that. Testing, testing. I'm like, because I, I, I think I, I like the other loudness better. But if you said I was speaking, I was speaking. Right, okay. No, let's go back to fifty percent. Yeah, fifty percent is pretty good. But I'm really surprised, like how it's picking, picking. This, this, this really acts like a very sensitive condenser microphone, basically. Yeah, you can hear, you can hear everything, everything yeah. that's happening. But from this, from this far away, I do see a difference in terms of the quality of it. It almost sounds like I'm peaking. Yeah, right, right. But and I'm then, not. And, and then. I am. No, you are. <laughs> and then when we lower it, it sounds. Okay, Too low. Like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just put it oh, farther no, away no, from no, me. No, hold on, hold on. Hold on. So we, we're lowering, we're lowering that. And then we're going to. to omnidirectional we'll try that also but let's try this now so we have that we lowered the headphone audio out okay so let's set it as matt suggested set it to omnidirectional, omnidirectional and see what and happens just so you guys can see this is why we're saving another one for last this way you can see like you know this you know this they they model this more so for musicians which mm. makes, and I can see why, because I saw some videos of people using this microphone mm -hmm. and how they put an entire mix together. Um, and also, it has multi-track. You can you can isolate different, you know, audios and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. Um, so let's change this to... If it lets me change it, come on. All right, so that's Omni. We on the Omni right now. Omni. I don't like the profile for the Omni or what I'm, at least what I'm hearing. Let me see if I was just one person. And now that is Omni, I don't hear so much. E right. And is then, that's... and then if we were, tr if we were to try figure eight, if we were to try figure eight. So for figure eight, which sounds a little bit better, but this would be more so of. This would like, be more so of like... Like this? Like yeah, if we were... Right. So you're back there and I'm here and then we're just having a... Right? You. All right. We're not going to do too much of this microphone. It's really sensitive and you have a lot of dialing in. As you can see, as I... You know, we read, there's a lot of features on this thing, right? You know what this is good for? This is musicians. good for if... Musicians. And if you're really like just on the go, mm -hmm. you just want to go and you want... This is really light and portable... Not so much the stand itself, but it has this has lots of uh, quirky, quirky features, quirky aesthetics, I would say. But if you're on the it's go, this is good for bringing on the go, right? Let's okay. pull up the iRig Stream Mic Pro here, and just show you real quick. Done from the IK Multimedia website.
Yeah, <laughs> definitely <laughs> muted here. Just, just going. We're just going through the website and just going over the different uh, polar patterns that you have on this microphone. And again, just emphasizing that it was made for more so for musicians in mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is the iRig Stream Mic Pro. Yeah. <laughs> and you, you know, I'm noticing. I'm noticing headphones. I mean, uh, in ear monitors. I like the way near monitors work better for this type of of monitoring mm -hmm. part of this redundancy because yeah. I really can't hear. I knew that there was something happening, and I was like, Photons, I'm not hearing anything. So it was muted, but I really c wasn't sure because these headphones are for music only, I would say. Right. So Okay, so we're going to plug in this? Yeah, let's do that. Wait. It's not a big deal. Huh? Oh, you already did it? Yeah. Oh, let me just mute this thing and get it out of the way. Looks beautiful. We're not hearing ourselves yet. Test, 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 test. We're not hearing ourselves. What are we doing? What are we doing wrong? Is it all muted here? Oh no, uh, it's just, we should just be able to hear it from the USB. Mm. But it's working over there. I don't know why we're not hearing it. Because do we have to plug ourselves in here? No, no, to no. To here? To monitor? Right back here. Are we plugged in? Mm-hmm. Are You we? guys hear us, right? Yeah, they hear us. They hear us. <laughs> what are we doing wrong here? I, what are we doing wrong here? The in monitors. This is it. It's not working. Right. So I'm wondering what we did wrong. Well, that's good that you guys can hear us while well, we'll figure it out. Paul is like, we can, <laughs> we hear you. Yeah, what is going on with this? Are we too loud? No. Hold on. Life happens. Let's what see about something here. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's just see something here. I'm just going <laughs> to plug this in directly, okay? We hear you doing something. Something is off with this. Hold on. Let's just. Now we can hear ourselves. Okay, what was it? So it's uh it's the 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 mix, right? So okay, but we'll explain that. So this is the Elgato Wave Three. Put this it in is the head. Elgato Wave Three White Edition USB microphone, and let's just we could just actually bump the levels up on this one. Oh my God! All right, I'm gonna take it away, and I'll just go on the screen share. This is sweet. This is sweet. Wait, so you're not gonna have a microphone? Wish we're sharing that one, Lewis style. Oh, Lewis so, style. Well, let's go okay, on. what do you all think about my voice in this wave three? I like the looks. I like the look of it. I like the whiteness and the, you know, the combination of black and white. It's, I'm too loud? You're good now. So what you have to put it down for? A little bit, just in case. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm going to put it back up again because I am being... Oh, there we man. go. So... This is the Wave 3, and, whoa, that's a little too close there, Stop. okay? But this sounds really good. And let's go straight to, 
Anna's like, oh, I love the sound of this microphone and she's really drawn to it. You know why you're drawn to this microphone, Miss Hill? Mm -hmm. Get ready. Lewitt Audio oh, Inside. Oh, shoot. Are you kidding me? Yes. That's why. Lewitt Audio subjects its microphones to rigorous calibration and quality control in world-class testing facilities with seasoned sound engineers. That's how they get their microphones into legendary recording studios and why we've equipped Wave microphones with their audio technology. It's how you get that sonic signature your audience will notice. That's why. I noticed it. This is why I was like, I like the way this mic sounds. Yes. So this mic, let's talk about this real quick. So this mic is not going to give me the, what was the other thing that you said that the Lewitt had? Was it the Lewitt, is it the dynamic or is it a condenser? The Lewitt is a condenser. A condenser. So this one is? They don't really say, uh, this act serves more, it's a cardio <laughs> pattern, but I would say condenser. It's a and then, sir, I, I like it. I like this one. And so let's answer mommy guide question. Let's answer Lala's question. Hello, Lala. Where is it here? Is right it here? there. This mm -hmm. one? Mm -hmm. Hello, Lala. Uh, is that an Elgato Wave 3? I started with that mic. It was so glitchy for me, and it made so much static noise that I eventually had to give it up. Well, right now, I don't know. Maybe they improved it, but... This sounds really good. And yeah. okay, so let's just talk about these settings, right? Mm. And that's that's why that's why I wanted to go over. Shout out to IK Multi Multimedia. Mm -hmm. We love our partners, IK Multimedia. And thank you for sending us the Ira Extreme Pro. However, this right here, if you want to go for a USB microphone, right? Check this out. Or overhead. Let's see if you could see. Okay, there is a convenient mute button right here. You just tap. So there's no clicking, right? This one, right? You have to, you hear that, right? And then you have to kind of like press and hold it. Yeah. Right, that's one. And you can be even gentle. You can just be like, that's it. But you're doing it too fast. You're like, <laughs> just delicate, like. And that's it. Right. So that's one. So the you have three here. You have the microphone, you have the headphone, and you have the master mix between your microphone and your computer. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's it. So this right here is the mic volume, right? We currently have it to one, two, three, four, five out of six, seven. We have it at five out of seven. And then we're going to switch to headphone. Headphone is the same thing. This is it sounds pretty good at this level. You could probably leave it in the middle if you wanted to. And then this is the master mix between the computer and the microphone. We have it currently set in the middle so we can get a balanced sound for both, right? And if we just wanted to go straight to computer, we can, or a microphone, we can just move it like that. So we can just get the mic audio, at least in our headphones only, right? I wonder if the issue that, that both Dan and Lala had with this phone had to do with the environment. Right. Because for me, with the Lewitt, right. it was the environment I put that Lewitt in a in a control room and right. holy mother, I wanna I wanna be able to right. to hear that. And like the Lewitt, it comes with a really nice pop filter. So let's mute and add that. Boom. There's the pop filter. You know, even though that that's convenient there, the way you tap it, people are gonna hear it. <laughs> you like pop! Do they though? Do you, do you guys hear this? <laughs> do you hear this? Hey, look at me swipe, swipe, or tap, tap. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, this, this, I love this one. I, this, this mic, I'm really impressed by by what he can do. And okay, so just, Paul, wait, Paul said yes and no. So Paul can hear the tap okay. and you cannot hear the swipe. Is that is that what's up, Paul? Okay. And just like how we usually have a Lewitt set up, right? Mm -hmm. so, you know, we, we used to have two and then we got bleeding issues. Mm -hmm. So we would just have the Lewitt in between us. Mm -hmm. And this actually works mm -hmm. where we can just have this mic in between us and 
it's picking up our audio quite well. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. so so there it is. I mean, if we if we had to, I would use this one if we had to go. I mean, this is the one that we use for our customers when we send them their kit for podcasts and video podcasts and all of that stuff. Yeah. And uh, and they could potentially use two guests yeah, with this. Yeah, so. definitely. Definitely. And it's just so easy. And it easy, looks good. So easy to use again. It's just three settings, the microphone, the headphone, and the mix, the main mix. The it's Valentine the Caress. audio and the microphone audio. And you got the mute button on top. It's so easy to use. And you, you definitely get a nice Luity mm-hmm. sound signature. That's that's perfect. It's very Luity. Yeah. Very Luity. Oh. All right. Oh. And yes. Okay, so, so we're gonna it, test some wireless microphones. Yeah. Now? While we're here, um, just a quick honorable mention because again, we have the the Rodecaster Pro, you know, and again, if it's just somebody you just want some a nice simple setup and you want something a little bit more minimalistic, you don't necessarily need that if it's just if you're just using one XLR microphone. Speaking of Elgato, you have the Wave XLR, right? Look at this cuteness. Uh, Anna, <laughs> Anna, likes to, Anna likes to say this cuteness. Uh, it's like, listen, I see the RCP back there and I'm not going to autofocus for you. I'm not autofocusing for you. I'll just keep it down here. You guys can see it. The Wave XLR is very small. It has the uh, the, the 48 volt. And you have on the back here, USB-C. You have headphone and one XLR. Nice and simple. You could just put this anywhere. You can actually pack this and bring it on the go. Mm-hmm. Right? So that's one. Not one For but, Creator Camps interviews. Definitely. Yeah. And what we love to use, basically, as we like to call it, the Mini Roadcaster Pro, the Zoom Pod Track P4, right? So this is very versatile on the go and also for home studio. You have four XLR, four XLR, and on you have different dials for each one. So for example, the one, two, and three, you have um, you just have you have the standard mic. You also can switch it to phantom power. If you need, if you have those condensers, number three serves as both uh, has the the XLR. You have phantom power, and you have an iPhone. There's an iPhone uh, icon there, so you can actually use number three to bring in iPhone audio, connecting it um, over here, connecting it over here into the um, the auxiliary, right? And then number four has standard XLR, phantom power, and USB audio. So you can you can actually have USB mix minus. You can bring in, let's say you have interview, you could hear your guests, all that stuff. You can do that on the Podtrack P4. You also have these pads here. You have sound effects, and you have one, two, three, four headphone um, outs here as well. This does it all. You also have SD cards. So if you're just recording audio only, you have the SD card here on the side, and we have it connected via USB C. This is great. This is a great powerhouse right here. Yeah, that was the first the first audio mm-hmm. interface I um I used. Yeah. Yeah. And with that, we let's you know what? We the wireless option that we have, this is the one that we use, is the DJI wireless mics. And what's cool about this, Miss Hill? No, I was gonna say like for kids, uh, that's the that for for kids they lost the magnets, so it, it comes with nice little magnets that you can just like clip it and uh, have the microphone on your shirt. The kids lost it the first time I used it, so not kids friendly. That's it, nice and compact right there. These are the the, the transmitters, and it's this is the one receiver. And it's two transmitters per one receiver. Two transmitters per one receiver. Are we going to test it? Yeah, but you know what I was thinking? You know what's cool? Okay, and then what I forgot to mention, the iRig Stream Mic Pro, the the cable that we were complaining about, Mm -hmm. there's a USB-C, and it's also, they also have, uh, do I have it here? They also come with an iPhone one, so you can connect this directly to your iPhone. Mm -hmm. So that's another plus, a plus mark for the iRig Stream mic pro this one i was wondering right you can connect this via usb-c 
I never I haven't tried that. Will that work if we connect this just directly to the, the Mac, if it will pick up? Or do we have to connect it via XLR? So I wanted to try that and see if that works. Let's see. Or will it? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, let's so see. um let's see. So we have I'm gonna try that out. Yeah, let's see. Uh, the DJI versus Road Warrior, let's go. Uh, that's what what are you we're trying to do? Like this this little USB C piece that it comes with, oh. where does that go? Have you ever tried that? That 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 attaches to the wait, this is the one from up here? This is the yeah, this is the receiver. Wait, we got we gotta show what we're doing because we're like Yeah, the this little USB C piece. Mm hmm It wasn't here. This is the thing. I haven't used this mic in a minute. But um this one, I put it up on the camera. Mm hmm And this one goes. Because it comes with a lightning cable. I haven't used this one. I haven't so used haven't this one used, yet. You haven't used these pieces. No, right? I, I just I just plug it, I connect it to the All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this. This looks like it will go in the on the iPhone. Wait, yeah, I just don't know where it goes on this thing. So we're gonna take this, and what we do, what we have is, we're gonna actually convert this wireless into an XLR. So we have XLR mail to uh, auxiliary three point five female, and then we have a mail to mail three point five. Just goes like this, and then this is gonna go in here into out like so, and we are going to connect this into the P4, because we're about to be mobile right now. We're about to be mobile. Yeah, I haven't used this, these ones. All right, so we are have we, that. Are we, uh, I'm gonna yeah, slide. <laughs> so, I'm gonna slide to mute. <laughs> we're, we're, Anna cannot wait to go hands free so you know? we're going to mute this awesome wave 3 and we're going to transition over to the Zoom PodTrack P4 along with the wireless DJI wireless microphone please hold Testing, testing. I'll, I'm going to echo, echo. I'll fix it up a little bit. All right, so mm. right. testing, testing, testing with the Zoom P4. It sounds <laughs> very interesting. It does sound interesting. This mics do not sound like this. Yeah. Try the other one. It shouldn't be the mic. Testing, testing. It's not the mic. Do you check the the, the receiver? <laughs> uh, I want to explain things, but this sounds so weird. And I'm getting a little bit of a buzz. So check the. It sounds better now. Hmm. Hello, I'm Jason Allen. Thank you for the Thank you. Thank you. Super so chat, 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 chat. You're not hearing a buzz? Huh. Good to know. 
So but we are the ones hearing it. You hear the buzz, right? Here you go. Testing, testing. And also, how does this sound to you guys on your end? What are you hearing right now? You don't hear a buzz. Do you hear... This is not slapback. This is like a echo. This is yeah. We're hearing a, a an intense echo. So wow. here so, it comes. Okay. It comes with this two magnets that go. So you will do this, which. <laughs> there was one earlier, but you touched something. The guys, else out. when I was interviewing the guys, they really liked this feature. I don't like having it on the shirt, but. A bit faint, says uh, Randy Cajun. Okay. <laughs> How about this? How does no? We're I see a little bit of peaking going on. What if we What if we plug it into the broadcaster? But actually, this mic sounds really good on by yeah. themselves. And then let's check out the let's check out the comments here. Yeah, there's some. Uh, I think for us, there's an audio monitoring issue going on for us. Yeah. But no echo. No okay. buzz here. They All right. This one earlier. You touch something and it stopped. They sound good. Okay. All right. Not well. Sound. Uh, and it was a bit faint. We brought we brought it up a little bit. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> so so oh. let's let's put let's put you because it also has a clip that you can just clip it to your shirt as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, but yeah, do yeah, the yeah, do yeah. the yeah, just, do just this gonna, do this I'll thing. just clip it you just like clip that. it yeah but wait so that the guys can see how it looks on you because the guys I wish I had the string on my hoodie I'll just clip it on the string the guys typically like like this <laughs> oh this magnet it's magnetized uh huh, uh -huh. yeah they typically guys typically like it got it you can straighten it out yourself yeah yeah yeah. So, but but for me, I either hold it like this when I am um, doing an interview or walking around. I just yeah. hold it like this, and or I just put it in here. No buzz, no echo. All right, cool. So there it is. These are the DJI's. Yeah. So oh, hold on. Let's pull. We, and it comes in this cute little my, case. My screen share duties. Let me bring this up. Nice so little case. For the DJI. Sturdy little case. For the DJ eyes. Boom. You see, she has this, she has a hanging. She doesn't yeah. like she doesn't like the magnet either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You have 14 day return, so you gotta use it right away. Test um, it out. I don't know if we ever tried 820 feet range, but Yeah, they go yeah. pretty far. Yeah. And they last. A pretty great time when it comes to battery. I don't know about 15 hours, but for an entire production, yeah, this thing is is still running with plenty of juice left over. Yeah, and you see they have it attached over there to a um to the iPhone, and we have used it. We actually have used it with the iPhone, and it has recorded nicely. This one and the Kamika booms. The Kamika booms are also pretty good, but I like this one better because you can. <laughs> You can um, test, test. you can adjust you can adjust it from the from the receiver. Yes, you can. Yeah. Which is really really good. You can see the levels, so you can see the the Comica booms don't have that level of monitoring, at least the ones that we have. But this one, the DJI, you can when you have it in the camera or on the phone, you can see the levels right from there, mm -hmm. and you can just slide it and um, adjust it like that. But then also the interface is super sensitive. So one trick that they say is just double tap it so that it can lock the mm -hmm. screen, mm -hmm. and then you're all set. Yeah, yeah. But these are pretty awesome, and why I I appreciate about uh, the these is that you have uh, two transmitters per one receiver. Actually, I haven't used this one on the iPhone. I've used it on yeah. I ha I've used this with the Lumix, but it, but the Comica booms I've used it just with the iPhone. Yeah. Yeah. So this one I haven't used it with the iPhone yet. Yeah. And mm. let's see here. Let me put it on my shirt and see what happens. Love the DJI's. Thanks for the demo. 
uh, too close. No need to hold it that close. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, listen, I, I, I'm going to just be like that. Oh, wait, who are you talking to, Rainy Canyon, first and before I go on you? Yeah, these are definitely smaller than the than the Rode Wireless Go. I would say they're about um, two-thirds, two-thirds of a Rode Wireless Go, two-thirds. Oh, uh, size, size-wise? Yeah, mm -hmm. size-wise, yeah. The, the Rode Wireless Go is more of a square versus this little rectangle. Mm -hmm. And I think... Yeah, these are pretty cute. Oh, and then also this just, is for you, Rainy Gajan. <laughs> just, just by holding it in in hand, um, they're a little bit better built, a little mm -hmm. bit more rugged, yeah. more durable um, feeling than the road wireless goes. I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah. So you, and if you, if you're walking around and you have your hands like this, people won't even know that you're holding mics. If you don't want to give it up. So this is again. Mobile setup, DJI wireless mics, and we are connected to, let's just go right back to overhead, where are you? To the Zoom PodTrack P4, right? With um, XLR male to 3.55 auxiliary female, and the DJI comes with the cable to go into the auxiliary, right? It comes with the cable, so you don't have to worry about that. And if you have, if you do use the the Rode Wireless Go, they usually come with a cable like this. This will work also, right? Do the you have little, it accessible? The coily, the coily, no, do not. So you do see, not. now I have the microphone on my, as, as Paul's request, right? So I have it, <laughs> I have it right here, right? I put it right here, awesome. But my voice does not sound as it was sounding before because it is down. Come, come at me, Anna. <laughs> yes, Benny Cajun. So you see, if I hold it like this, I can hear. Yeah, definitely. I We don't have everything dialed in. We just like plug and play. But now I am curious to see if we were to connect this to the Rodecaster Pro. Oh. How would it sound And you like? can have a backup because you can record here. I haven't used it yet, but on one occasion, I wished I would have recorded it. And then you can, I haven't used this though, but that's a feature that you can record double um, for backup. Back up your audio here and just in case something happens to the other one, then you can use this one. And in one occasion, I wish I would have done that. Mm. Yes. So please hold. We're going to hook this up to the RCP real quick. Tell us, tell us if you hear this buzz. I definitely hear a little bit more, more impact. It sounds a lot better on the RCP actually. But let us know if you're, hearing, if you're hearing that buzz. And we're currently on condenser 40 dB. But let us know if you're hearing what you're hearing. Actually, we're we're in the RCP to condenser 40 dB, and it is 8:04 p.m. on buzz. Valentine's Day. There is the bus now. So the bus is more prominent. Yeah. You know, there's a lot going on up over here. So not even going to bother Line to see in. what's going on. But we will mute this and let's switch to. Hold on. Let's switch to something real quick.
All right. <laughs> we got rid of the... <laughs> We'll close out. We'll we're, close out on this, close on, out, on, yeah. this, on this mic. We'll close out on this mic. Yeah. No Valentine's words. Day. I have chocolate to eat. You have chocolate to eat. Yes. <laughs> what, um, what? How was Valentine's Day for, for all of you who celebrate it? Yes. Did you get, I, I got flowers at, what was it, 6 o'clock in the morning? Yeah, it was like uh, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 30, 6 o'clock in the morning. 6.30 in the morning, flowers and cards. I got flowers in the card. I am an early riser. I am up at 4 a.m. Remember, remember um, was it early last year on ENN, uh, we were talking about goals or whatever the case mm -hmm. might be. Mm -hmm. I said that I want to get up at 4 a.m. Mm -hmm. And um, on my birthday last year in October... I started working towards that and, you know, started getting up around like quarter to five and I started working my way up to it. Mm -hmm. And now my 4 a.m. alarm goes up, I'm up and I'm out the door by 4.30, go to work out about an hour or so. And then when I'm out the gym, it's like 6 a.m. or a little bit before six. I'm waiting for the grocery store to open and all that stuff so I can <laughs> buy groceries. Like I'm the first one and I love it. You know, and you just have all the time in the world and it just helps me become more productive and whatnot. So mm -hmm. that's been a really big change for me. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I don't even know why we started talking about that, but be because um, because it, it, you got me flowers at 630. Oh, right? that's that's why the flowers arrived at at 6 a.m. <laughs> at 6 a.m. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of him because for, he was a late, like late sleeper. Yeah, to adjust. I've, I've been, I wake up earlier, earlier than him, and I obviously go to bed earlier, so that was something, but now he's just, and I think you go to bed at the same time. Yeah, so now my bedtime is a lot earlier, usually 9, 9.30, you know. But I have find you taking naps, because I was like, Sometimes I do Because I was like, why? Because it is, um, not all the days, not every day is like, you know, really s simple and, yeah. and easy and stuff like that. Some days are hard. Some yeah. days definitely are, are hard, right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, for example, what was it, yesterday? Yesterday I did crash a little bit. Yeah. And also, um, I tried to like go also on Saturday, so Monday through Friday, because now I don't have any excuse, 4 a.m., you're up 4 a.m. You don't have any excuse not to do it, like not to do anything. Like mm -hmm. you, you have all the time in the world yeah. at 4 a.m. But on Saturdays, I'll try to go, or, or on Sundays. But let's say we go away and we and I miss a day or two, try readjusting. Monday, I'm back up again. Mm -hmm. However, I get I can get a crash, mm -hmm. like around afternoon time. You know, there's a little bit of a crash and whatnot. You know, but it's good. It is. It's been really. As we say in Ecam Fam, it's been a game changer for me, for, <laughs> for sure, for sure. Yeah. So, for what sure. are you guys doing? Is it uh, so? Lala says traffic was so bad to get stuff from IKEA. Three hours. Wow. V day. Big care. Everyone is out. Mm -hmm. There's a there is a a pastry place like a bakery in downtown where we are and there were like 20 people out the door i'm like what bread is so special on valentine's day that they're you know getting? that bread is, like, is good though you know that bread must be slamming that bread is that bread must be slamming i just want to do a quick recap of like everything because we didn't recap like, the no, 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 recap the, the, i gotta do the, the the screen share of what we covered uh today the recap so, i gotta do is eat that dinner we That's had the, the recap i got the lewitt 440 right that's a condenser xlr the Wave DX, which is a dynamic XLR, and the 2100 perfect entry level microphone, and we have the iRig Stream Mic Pro. If you want to get like really complex and everything, this is for you. There's so many quirks and features there, and we're currently on the Wave Three with the Luity Profile, mm -hmm. right? We love this microphone. Thank you so much, Elgato, and for wireless solutions. The DJI mic. Uh, this is the for the first edition. There's actually there's a, a part two that's mm -hmm. out now, but this gets the job done. And for mobile mobile podcasting, the Zoom Pod Track, rightfully named Pod Track P4 Podcast reco uh, Recorder. We cover that as well, right? Nice compact. And another compact uh, audio interface is the Wave 
XLR by Elgato, one XLR, USB, and headphone with the 48 volts for 140. Yeah, look at um, Rainy Cajun still recovering for recovering from Mardi Gras. Did you eat the king's bread? When we went there to um, New Orleans, which by the way was we had so much fun, so much fun. Um, we went looking for that bread because we wanted to try it, see what it was all about. And they said that they only have it in March, in Mar around March, around mm. Mardi Gras. So we couldn't taste it. Mm. Yeah, the king's bread. Yeah. Uh, and I know we were like su super busy. Just once again, thank you so much to Jason Allen for the super chat. We didn't pull it up. Let's pull it up. Let's see what super chat looks like these days with, <laughs> with the comments at the broadcast. Okay, super sticker. There it is. Thank you so much, Jason it's Allen. We appreciate that. Appreciate yeah. It. All right, everybody. Well, go have um, an amazing rest of the Valentine's Day. I'm going to have it because I'm hungry and I'm going to eat. And um, yeah. <laughs> I got to <laughs> clean up this desk. I put everything back. Yeah, it's a yeah. mess. I have to bring the roadcaster. It's usually on the side here. It's rerouted here and all, all kinds of cables all over the place. So I'm going to bring this back to some uh, some normalcy. Some normal so scene. I hope, I hope that, whoa, Paul, so Ikea is right next to your apartment. You must have your apartment all hooked up. Nice. I had Ikea three miles from here and I would be, my wallet would be in trouble. <laughs> in trouble but anyway everybody thank you so much this yeah. was fun testing this out was, some mics right um and, and so uh, if you have any questions you're catching the replay um please yeah. uh write it in the comments we will get back to you yeah definitely hopefully and for those who are looking for you know entry level budget solutions we gave you quite a, a variety <laughs> a variety here but you know i think our our biases are leaning towards this right here for yeah. a good budget Mike, this is mm -hmm. this is good. This yeah. is really good. It is good. Yeah, it's good. I have to try it downstairs in my studio and see what happens, right? Yeah, definitely. But other than that, it's uh, it's pretty good. I like definitely. it. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. All right, everybody. Um, Paul, I wish you finding uh, King's Cake somewhere, and if you find it, let us know because we would like to order some too, so they to try it out because we we haven't tried it. Um. So anyway, thank you so much, everybody. Um, Lala, enjoy your breakfast. <laughs> We're going to enjoy dinner. And we will see you on Monday on Ecom Network News and Entertainment. Or we will see you next Wednesday right here, Building Blocks. My name is Anna Hill. And I'm Fulgens Henry. We will see you next time. Thank you so much, everybody. Bye. Bye.